YouTube is a place for entrepreneurs. What does it take to become monetized on YouTube? To answer that question is very simple. You need 4,000 watch hours on your videos within the last 365 days, and you also need 1,000 subscribers. No time limit on that. You can get your subscribers anytime. But what does it actually take to get those 4,000 watch hours? And what does it actually take to get those 1,000 subscribers? Well, I am not there yet, and this is my journey. I post an update every single week with an update on my journey, on my road to monetization. So stick around and know what I've learned and studied in the past week to become monetized on YouTube. Because every single week is an education week. Every single day is a day that I'm trying to learn and study to get monetized on YouTube. So stick around in this video and you'll find out what I've learned this week. When I've made a huge jump towards my monetization on YouTube, would I pay for YouTube promotions ever again? This week on YouTube, I have been learning of what other people or viewers of these types of videos and in this niche that people want to see. A lesson I learned very early on was just stay consistent, just keep publishing. And absolutely, that does work. Publishing a video twice a week is what I do. And I've stayed very consistent to that promise that I made at the very, very beginning. Staying consistent does equal growth. You do see growth. However, the growth could be limited depending on the type of content that you publish. So staying consistent is extremely easy for me. However, the next step is figuring out what people want to watch. At first, I had my own list of what I thought other people wanted to watch on my channel. That didn't really work so well. So then I turned to vidIQ and looked for the keyword searches. Admittedly, those videos, based on the keyword searches from vidIQ, have not been successful. According to vidIQ, the supply demand for those videos had a really high score, saying that there is a lot of demand but not enough supply. So when I actually posted those videos, they actually didn't become successful. To my surprise, I genuinely thought that vidIQ would have known what it was doing and what it was on about. But I suppose it's all just a hit and miss. It's all just a game of trying to figure it out for yourself. The next bit of advice now, because I've tried the vidIQ, I'm going to try a different strategy in figuring out what type of videos you want to watch. My new strategy is to search on YouTube for other people in niches that are similar to mine and look at their most popular videos. Now, I'm not looking for the channels with the huge amount of subscribers. I'm looking for the channels with a small amount of subscribers, let's say less than 50,000 subscribers. So not the ones that are taking over the world, less than 50,000 subscribers. I'm looking at those channels. I'm looking at their most popular video. Now that was really difficult for me because although there are niches that are similar to mine, they're not exactly the same as mine. So it's really hard to find a channel that had a niche and videos that were, that were popular, but also fell in my niche as well. So it took me quite some time. I went through several different channels. I've eventually come up with 12 different video ideas that were successful on other channels. Now you might think this is just a copycat. This is a copy and paste type thing, but I don't think so because I actually didn't just pick the top video. I filtered through say, the top five and thought, do any of these match my niche? And I actually didn't. I refused to actually make a lot of those videos, but even though they were more successful, I refused to make those videos because they're not in my niche and they're not what you've subscribed for. And also, why is it not a good idea for me to try and figure out what you want to see? What is valuable to you? That's part of my job now on YouTube. I, as a content creator, I need to figure out what you want to see, what is valuable to you. So that is a way of doing it. And take a look at other channels as well and see how those became successful and what videos you want to see on their channel. This week, I've also learned to celebrate the small wins. Although, no, I am not monetized on YouTube yet. Nope, I wish that would be amazing. But celebrating the small wins. I've had two small wins this week. When I first set up on vidIQ, it set me a challenge of having 130 subscribers. At the time, I had about 100 subscribers. So to get to 130, I then surpassed it last week. In the last video update, I did actually pass that number in that last update. So to celebrate those small wins, another small win. This was never a goal, but I've now actually created my first video with over 1000 views, which is nuts. I've actually got kind of goosebumps talking about it. I don't think it's the call. I think it's actually goosebumps talking about the success of having one video that was over a thousand views. If you can imagine a thousand views, that's nuts. 
I could have one person in front of me talking to them. I talk to them. I could have a classroom full of people talking to them. I've still had more people watch that particular video than a whole entire classroom of people, maybe even a whole school of people. So I would say you get about a thousand people in a school. So to say a thousand, over a thousand people have watched that particular video blows my mind. I'm still trying to figure out why that particular video was so successful. I have no idea. Some people have mentioned that the thumbnail was maybe a bit clickbaity. And fair enough, I actually didn't see that until someone pointed it out. They pointed it out and said, the one month monetization journey kind of implies that you became monetized in one month. When I actually did the thumbnail, I didn't actually think that was the case. I thought I was trying to tell people this is one month into my journey on my road to becoming monetized. So when someone actually explained that to me, they did say it was a bit clickbaity. However, I do have other videos that are about as equally as clickbaity as that one. So I don't think it's the thumbnail that has drawn people to that one. Now, my gut feeling, and I don't like this, but my gut feeling is that YouTube have put adverts in that particular video and they are pushing that video out to more people because of the adverts that they've put in there. That's the only explanation I can think anyway, but still... A lot of people are still clicking on it. It's not just YouTube pushing it out. People are still clicking on it and still watching it. So that was from a few weeks back. And I am super happy to celebrate the small wins, to celebrate the 130 subscribers, to celebrate that having the first video over 1,000 views. Wow, that is absolutely nuts. Absolutely crazy. So I do this every week. If you do like this type of content, if you want to follow this journey, and see if I can make it to monetization on YouTube, then click on that subscribe button and help me get to that monetization. You clicking that subscribe button is literally helping me get to that monetization on YouTube because I still need the 1,000 subscribers. So please hit that subscribe button and we'll go home to the home office and I'll give you an update on the analytics for this week, the past seven days on YouTube and how many views we've got, how many new subscribers we've got and how many watch hours we've got. So let's go back to the home office. Back at home now in the home office. I've been toying with the idea of promoting my videos on YouTube by paying for YouTube's promotions. Just to try it out, I wanted to post two videos on YouTube promotions. Two videos for three days and have £10 per day on each video. That equaling £60 in total. £30 for each video. When you pay for promotions on YouTube, you are asked, what is your goal of this promotion? Do you want a lot of views? Do you want to increase your subscriber base? Or do you want to get people onto your website? The strange thing that happened after I paid for these promotions, they were sat in pending. After they were sat in pending, the one with 1000 views, the one that I wanted to, to generate more views on my channel that I was paying for, then went active. But the other one, the other video on retiring early said active limited. I didn't know what that meant. And YouTube was directing me to the YouTube policies, but I could not understand what that meant. So I could not figure it out. So as a last minute rush, instead of faffing around with the video and trying to edit it and trying to crop a certain bit out and trying to figure out what is wrong with the video, I decided to change the amount of spend on that video to zero and put the additional 30 pounds onto the other video with 1000 views. So on Friday, I had about 17 new subscribers. The previous week I was at 130 subscribers and on Friday I was at 147 subscribers. So that was huge. That was my biggest week so far hands down and especially because that was organic growth that was not paid promotion and it was not family and friends trying to figure out what i'm doing and watch what i'm doing that was organic growth of having 17 new subscribers in one week in less than a week so that was huge now after paying for the promotion i've learned a lot of things in the last three days the video itself had at the time 1100 views and within three days, that video has gone from 1,100 views to 16,782 views in three days on this bank holiday weekend. So you definitely get a lot more viewers on your channel. The promotion has told me it has managed to get me an extra 43 subscribers on my channel. I currently, my channel right now has 195 subscribers. 
after I paid for this promotion, one day into the promotion, I was watching a YouTube channel and it told me that actually the paid promotion, the subscribers and the views and the watch time that you get for any paid promotions does not count to monetization on YouTube. <sighs> I honestly thought this was an easy pay to play thing. I thought actually at this rate, it would be really easy to get monetized on YouTube, but that is not the case. But also what's really strange, I Googled it and Google is telling me the same thing, that it does not count towards your monetization on YouTube. But the strange thing is when I go over to the earnings section on YouTube, which monitors your eligibility to join the YouTube partner program, still says that I have. 195 subscribers, which is exactly the amount of subscribers that I have right now. And that does not minus the subscribers that I gained from my YouTube promotion. So the internet is telling me that I, these do not count to monetization. However, the earnings page is telling me that it does. It's implying that these subscribers will count towards my monetization. So I'm really confused. If you guys know, if anyone knows, does paid promotions count towards your monetization on YouTube? Put a comment in the description below. Let me know your experience. Are you seeing the same thing that I am? Have you paid for a paid promotion on YouTube and been told that it doesn't actually count, but it actually does count? So please let me know your experience. But right now it's showing that I do have 195 subscribers on the earnings and the monetization eligibility page to join YouTube's partner program. So I'm on the fence. I don't know how to feel about this. It's weird. On one side, I'm thinking, have I just wasted some money on a paid promotion? Because if it does not count towards monetization, the impact that has on my road to monetization is very limited. However, if these subscribers are counting towards my monetization, then it's, a e then it's an easy win. This is an absolute win. I've made a huge jump towards my monetization on YouTube. I said I wanted to push these videos out to the following countries, the United Kingdom, the United States, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, the Netherlands, India, Germany. These are the countries I pushed this video out to. My channel wasn't actually doing anything, but in a small window on each day, approximately UK time, about 10 in the morning till one in the afternoon, in that time, my channel would go nuts and then one o'clock in the afternoon, approximately, it would just stop again and until the next day. So that was on Saturday, Sunday, the same thing, went nuts for about three hours and then stopped again. And then, then Monday, today, did the same thing again, went nuts for about three hours and then stopped again. I thought that the YouTube promotion would really just average it out throughout all the days. That's why I kind of aimed for the bank holiday weekend and thought that would have been a good idea. I'm not sure how or why it happened where it only updated and went crazy for a couple of hours. However, YouTube promotion did do what it promised and it actually gave me far more views than it expected that I would get. It said when I created the promotion that I would expect to get about 4,000 views and actually I got about 15,000 views. So I got far more views than I could have possibly expected from that promotion. So to actually get views, it works. Would I pay for YouTube promotions ever again? Maybe. This was a trial. This was an experiment to see what would happen. I am interested to see going forward with another idea that I spend three pounds on each video that I post within the month, just three pounds, just to get a handful of views instantly as I publish the video. And I think that would be good for YouTube's analytics because it would allow you to see with a bigger sample size of people viewing your videos of where people drop off in your videos. At the moment, I do not get too many views on other videos. So the sample size of trying to figure out what people want to see isn't really there. The drop-offs and averages are hard to understand, but just spending something like three pounds promoting a video, promoting every video that I post within one month would allow me to get a lot of viewers onto each of those videos initially straight away as they're published. And those viewers will show on the YouTube analytics and I can see and get more examples and sample size of where my videos are dropping off and how I can change and how I can get better. So right now I'm on the fence about YouTube promotions. If these subscriptions do qualify me towards monetization on YouTube, 
then yes, absolutely, it was worth it. I would do it over and over and over again because I've got about 50 subscribers in the last three days. So on that rate, it would be very easy for me to get monetized, although I do have the feeling that they will not count towards my YouTube monetization. So if they do not count towards YouTube monetization, I do not think it's a good idea for you to pay for promotion. If your goal is to be monetized on YouTube, I'm still trying to figure it out. I would love it if you guys could leave some comments in the description below to let me know, do these subscribers count towards monetization on YouTube? What should I expect when I reach 1000 subscribers? And are they going to tell me no, I'm going to turn me away because I received about 40 subscribers from a YouTube promotion. What will happen in that situation? Please let me know in the description below. I'd love to have a heads up beforehand so I can prepare for what they're going to say to me once I reach a thousand subscribers. So right now I do have 195 subscribers. And at the moment in the last 365 days, I have 339.5 watch hours in the last year. So that is again, nowhere near the 4,000 watch hours that I need to be monetized on YouTube. And a lot of these hours, I do not think will count as part of the paid promotion as well. But strangely enough, when I look at the promotion itself, it doesn't actually tell me how many watch hours it brought to my channel. So it's really hard to decipher how many watch hours the promotion brought to my channel. It tells me how many views it brought to my channel, but not how many watch hours it has brought to my channel. So I do not know how YouTube is going to figure out how many watch hours it has provided for me and take it off of my analytics when it comes to monetization on YouTube. I'm trying to figure this out and I will keep you updated over the coming weeks. Please hit the like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be updated on, on everything that I learn around YouTube promotions and my road to monetization on YouTube. I have a sneaky feeling I've got a huge learning curve coming my way over the next couple of weeks. So hit that notification bell as well. So you're updated when I post these videos every single week. If you like this type of content, then I've been making these videos every single week since I started YouTube and I've created a playlist so you can see my journey on my road to monetization from the very beginning. So if you want to watch my journey from the very beginning, then watch this playlist right here. I'm sure you're gonna love it.